أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين. أما دير سيستان إسلام can you just briefly tell us a bit of information about who you are exactly إن شاء الله. I came here from America to seek Rukia. I recently found out that I had a problem with Jin and Sihir so after researching on the internet and Facebook and everything, this is uh, where Allah brought me. This is where, from my research, the best Rakis are for this type of situation. So I, I got on the plane and came here. Thank you, my sister. Uh, can you please name uh, the two uh, Rakis that uh, helped you in your treatment of Rukia? Okay, um, we have Abu Isa from Rukia Healing and we have Zayad from um, Rukia. The, the Rukia service. Sorry, the Rukia service. Okay, my sister, can you please, inshallah, tell us why you realized you need Rukia? I had been feeling for some time that there was something not right within me. I started having very disturbing dreams. Um, there was uh, reoccurring dreams about, you know, snakes and dogs and same animals over and over. Um, some, sometimes I would feel the presence of, of Jen around me. I would see shadows out of the corner of my eye. I would hear uh, unusual voices in my head. And um, I started to develop aches and pains that would not respond to medication. And that was the final thing for me. So um, I did seek out a Raki. He did do a reading. It, I was discovered to have had Sihar on me as a result of the reaction that I had to the ayats that he had recited. Um, after seeing him for a few times, uh, he felt there was nothing more he can do. Uh, I knew that I needed to seek somebody more experienced. Uh, it was apparent that the sicker I had, that I have or had, I should say, was with me for a long time. And mm -hmm. when it's with you for a long time, it makes for a more complicated case. So I needed somebody more experienced for my particular أفسحر هذا فسحر هذا سحر هذا سحر 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 بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أفسحر هذا أفسحر هذا أفسحر هذا أفسحر هذا أفأنتم لا تبصرون أفأنتم لا تبصرون أفسحر هذا أفسحر هذا أفأنتم لا تبصرون بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ما جئتم به السحر إن الله سيبطره 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 ما جئتم به السحر 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 ما جئتم به السحر إن الله سيبطره إن الله سيبطره السحر إن الله سيبطره What is your advice to any sister in Islam revered like yourself or born Muslim? What is your advice to somebody like yourself right now who will listen to you and he will think, oh, I think I have the symptoms or somebody like yourself who will say, I am actually affected, what shall I do next? What's your advice to these Muslims, inshallah? I think the first thing you should do is fight the voice that's telling you you're paranoid, that um, I think that you know yourself better than anybody and if you're starting to truly feel that something is not right with you, 
that the first step you can do, there are recordings that certain shakes have made for you to test yourself with. If you want to do this in the privacy of your home, if, you don't, if there's not anybody in your family you could talk to or you don't feel comfortable going forward to somebody yet, there are some recordings. And um, I would listen to that first. And there's instructions on what you should do. You can do this in the privacy of your own home. Some situations it's recommended that somebody's there with you. Um, so I would listen to this, and if you have any, any type of thing, if your breathing changes, if this happens, any type of symptom that you have, any reaction, don't take it lightly. Follow through with researching um, a person to go to. Make that call to a Rocky, email them, text them, whatever their means of communication is. Um, do that and start from there. You know, don't, don't feel like anything is too small. Don't feel like you're paranoid. Don't be the one to try to diagnose yourself. Let somebody who does this as a profession, somebody who has experience, be the one to tell you that, no, it's your imagination or no, it's this. You know, don't be afraid. Um, don't be scared. Don't, don't feel like it's because you're a bad person or anything like that. You know, just seek help because that's the only way you're going to get through this by seeking help. First and foremost, you, you seek help from Allah. My sister, uh, I'd like to ask you a question. Uh, how was, uh, are you happy with the treatment you had so far? Yes, I, I am, mashallah, very happy with the treatment. Um, I feel that both of you have been very sincere in your approach. I would highly recommend you to anybody in this situation. I feel that the treatment I received came from the heart, uh, and I feel that, um, and Allah knows best, that that is one of the things that made the biggest difference here, is the sincerity on your part. Jazakallah, my sister, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you and all the Muslims. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah.